Okay, uh, I have start recording and uh, I share my screen. Yeah, so let's continue from the uh, point we uh, just now stop. Yeah, okay. Windows function ranking. Yeah, after that, the uh, yeah. So here we also rank. And then after that, uh, instead of uh, only ranking by the price, but uh, you also rank by the category. Yeah. So every category, we're going to rank the price. Okay. So this is a category. So product category, for example, uh, beep shorts. Yeah. So we have the different rank. Yeah. So based on the two column. The previous one is only by the price. This one is a by the product category and the price. Okay, aggregate function is a statistic function like a maximum, minimum, yeah, and then average, uh, count, yeah. Count is the two uh, count how many rows. Okay, so that's the uh, aggregate function. Yeah, the example of the aggregate function is a max, min, yeah. Okay, so we have that uh, in the uh, Okay, Lian, uh, you are co-host. Uh, you can help me to admit uh, anyone want to uh, come in, yeah, join the class. Okay, let's look at the uh, reference that uh, just. Oh my, my head went into okay. I already share with you in uh, here. Yeah, so here, uh, you look at the aggregate function. Numeric. Uh, so it's numeric statistic. Yeah. String ah system statistical. Yeah. So you have the oops no. The trigger text image system ranking. Okay, ranking. Then after that the mathematical. Okay. Ah. Uh, no, not mathematical. Okay, average. Average. Okay, yeah, here aggregate, yeah, there is aggregate function aggregate. Ah, uh, this one, yeah. So average, count, max, mean, and so on. Okay. Yep, so uh, that's the example of the uh, aggregate function. Count, yeah, the number of rows. Okay, and then after that, uh, here, yeah, we also have the count average. Okay. This is the aggregate function. So what this is a query is basically, uh, okay, first, yeah, Count star, meaning the how many rows in this uh, sales LT product. Okay, yeah, so uh, 37. If you uh, just uh, tap the query, yeah, select uh, star from hmm, this uh, sales LT product, yeah, this one. Okay. So uh, run. Okay, waiting, still processing the query. Still executing, yeah. Sometimes you have to wait. Wow, bit long. Okay, yeah, done, yeah. 295 rows you see here 295 rows yeah okay so uh if i want to just uh, know how many yeah, rows yeah count after that the star yeah okay then after that the uh you can put the s yeah
as a any name uh, product count for example yeah like this yeah okay run okay 295 yeah so you see here 295 just now we run there are 2900 uh, 295 uh, rows uh, in the uh, sales LT product okay average yeah this is the uh, aggregation okay uh so that's a function we have not uh, learned uh, creating the function we just learned how to use the existing function that uh, provided uh, in the uh, sql yeah. in the separate uh, lesson we're going to learn how to create the function okay but uh, now only using the function that returning the scalar yeah. the scalar meaning single value okay okay uh let the, i'm so sorry just now i have not time to check your chat box yeah if uh, any one of you and uh, ask me question then i might uh, miss your question because uh, before i check the chat box then the decision already completed yeah finished already but uh, in case you have question you let me know yeah otherwise then uh, i will quickly move to the next lesson so you have learned about uh, this the uh, project okay one moment yeah Okay, if you don't have any questions, let's uh, continue with uh, the next query. I'm going to save this. Uh, I already make some changes yeah, here. So I will be sharing again uh, with you. Yeah, save as. Okay, so functions uh, amended there. Yeah. With the uh, uh, edit uh, sample. Okay, I put uh, here. Later, I will share with you. Yeah.
Okay. Uh, let me uh open the. Yep. Group by and having. Yeah. So group by is basically if you would like to uh group. Yeah. For example, like this. If I do not use the group by. Then uh, I will. Uh, I want to have uh, the name of uh, the the number of the. You know that uh, every customer assigned with the salesperson ID. Yeah. So uh, that's uh, yeah. So select salesperson, and then after that the uh, customer ID. Okay. Yeah. From the like this okay select salesperson customer ID okay I run this query okay yeah so uh, waiting this is a customer ID this is the salesperson name Okay, so I put the order by salesperson. Okay, then uh, here wait ah. Uh. Okay, you see here, for example, David, yeah, David, David, David. So this is customer ID. For example, I would like to know, yeah, how many customers the David have, okay? So this is a sorted already, David, yeah, and then a Garrett, yeah, okay. Now this one. So I just want to know, yeah, how many customer? This one is the ID, not the number of customer. Yeah? So I would like to uh, change to the count, yeah, count customer ID. This one is a selecting customer ID and salesperson. Okay, yeah. Now I would like to uh, look at the count. Yeah, how many? It's a salesperson has the customer. So I put the count. Yeah, customer ID. Okay, after that the uh, S, yeah, customer count. Okay, so uh, let's uh, run. Then after that, uh, what we get is like this. Yeah? So this one is uh, invalid, yeah, because uh, any of this uh, aggregate function need to be a uh, group by, yeah. So this uh, query returning the error because uh, to count, yeah, the aggregate function you must. Uh, Add with the group by, so group by is a grouping, yeah, like a subtotaling, yeah. Group by, yeah, and uh, remember order by must be the last one. So here, in the query, ah, uh, this one, yeah, order by must be the last one. Okay, so I uh, put the here. Group by, yeah. So group column. Okay. So group by, yeah. So here I want to group by the salesperson. So I put here, but remember the order by must be the last one. Like this, yeah. Uh, order by group by okay so run okay then uh, we have this uh, how many customer David uh, have yeah 
78, uh, 73, 78, 78, yeah, 140. Yeah. So that's a group by. So group by is a grouping, subtotaling. Okay. And uh, here, uh, for example, now I have a two table. Yeah, the product table. And then the product category. How many product per category? Yeah. I would like to know how many product per category. Okay, so group by the category name. Order by the category. Okay, so now I have this. So bib short, there are three products. The category bike racks, they have the one product and so on. Yeah. Okay. The next one is uh, we have the customer. And then uh, we have the sales order. So every customer has the order. Give me a second here. Yeah. Uh, guys, give me one minute, yeah. Let me just uh, quickly uh, reply the one important message, yeah. One moment. Mm -hmm.
Okay, uh, give me one minute again, finishing my message. Okay, sorry for the uh, interruption. Yeah, okay, let's continue. So you understand what is a group by? Yeah? Group by meaning you want to uh, group. For example, here uh, in the whiteboard, let me just draw. For example, you have a table, and then the table has a multiple column and multiple row okay so here you want to group yeah by certain criteria so this is a group by so normally group by uh, followed by the aggregate function such as the mean yeah and then a maximum median yeah, or a average yeah those are statistical function including the count yeah okay now uh, let's look at the here uh, we would like to group the sales uh, by the uh, sales person yeah how much uh, they sell this is the revenue yeah per sales person okay and then after that uh, uh, you would like to order descending or ascending so here only three persons uh, selling the things yeah you want to order from the highest to lowest yeah or from the lowest to highest yeah okay here uh, let's see the yeah only a uh, three persons are selling yeah uh, let me check uh, I think uh, we have more no so uh, select this one says revenue okay because uh, we use the join yeah okay so we use join so meaning that the, uh, the salesperson here only the salesperson that uh, selling it will be display yeah only the salesperson that selling it will be display but uh, you know that uh, you have uh, just know how many customer per salesperson yeah you see here how many salesperson there are nine salesperson yeah but uh, only three selling the yeah so how about the other five yeah the other five because we would like to uh, see the salesperson that are not selling so we need to use the left join yeah left join is an outer remember to include the uh, salesperson that are not selling okay so run so now i have this originally this is null yeah because they are not selling but we don't like null so we replace null with the zero yeah is null the sum of the total uh, subtotal yeah into the uh, with, with the zero yeah so now you can see that the 
the salesperson and the sales revenue, those who doesn't sell, yeah, didn't sell, then uh, you replace with a zero. Okay, yeah. So uh, that's a person of the is null. If you don't use the is null, then uh, you will get the null value because uh, they don't sell anything. Yeah. Okay. So here, if uh, you don't use the is null, I remove the is null. Okay. Like this, yeah. So you get the null, null, null which is not nice. Yeah. So we change to the is null. Okay, now you would like to uh, more detail the sales per customer, yeah, per cus uh, yeah, C is customer, correct, yeah, per customer, not per salesperson, but per customer, and the customer is a uh, concatenating from the first name and last name, okay, you run this, so now you have the, this is the salesperson, this is the customer name. This is the sales revenue. Whenever it is a null, then you want to replace with a zero. Okay, yeah. Okay, very good. Yeah, so you have the group by. Okay, maybe let's do a one short exercise. Yeah. So here I have the table. Uh, for example, uh, address, yeah, and uh, just let's check uh, where is a city column located, yeah. Okay, city are uh, here, sales address, yeah. So I would like to know how many people or how many customers, yeah, per city. How many customer per city? Okay, so here we have the customer. Okay, yeah. So we have the customer, and then uh, in the customer, we have the address uh, ID. So the uh, em uh, email address modified. Uh, okay. Wait, uh, how we link the customer with the address? Customer ID, last name, service company name, email address, phone, password. Okay, we don't have it. Eh? Modified date, wrote you ID. Okay, customer ID. Yeah, so customer ID, we have the customer ID here. This one is the uh, address ID. Ah, this one, customer address. Yeah, this is the correct one. So the customer address, uh, we have the customer ID. Okay, then address ID. So the link uh, between this table is uh, shown in the this uh, table. Yeah, uh, sorry, I draw the diagram. So we have the customer, customer address, and then the address ID, the fact and the uh, team table. Okay, so like this. Yeah, this one is a uh, customer. Okay, then there is another table, which is the customer address. Oh, my drawing today is a very bad. <laughs> customer address, okay. Okay, then after that, the, we have the uh, address ID. Actually, yeah, if you open Power BI, then uh, that will be a very, very, uh, that the Power BI can show you a very nice diagram. Okay, let's do it, yeah. So let's, uh, uh, what time is now? 10.32, okay, so we still have time, yeah. Let me open the Power BI, yeah. So far, we have not used Power BI, but uh, we're going to use Power BI to see the uh, 
the data the the, the star schema yeah, of the Avenger works LT. Okay, I'm still opening my Power BI now. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, just uh, signing your account. Okay, yeah, so just close. Then after that, uh, get data. Yeah. So we click the get data and then after that, uh, we're going to connect to the SQL server. Or you can also click this, yeah. import the data from SQL server. My computer is a bit slow today. Yeah, let me just click. Okay, yeah. So the server name, yeah, uh, I think... Uh, this morning, uh, someone already uh, providing you the information. Okay, this is the server name here. Okay, database name is a uh, AdventureWorks LT. This one. Okay, yeah. So uh, import, yeah, and then after that, uh, click uh, OK. Then uh, you will be asked with the uh, database uh, username, yeah, which is the SQL user, and the password is uh, this. Okay, yeah, click uh, connect. So in the Windows username, you don't change anything. Yeah, use current credential. You. Uh, put the, uh, this one yeah database uh, username yeah then uh, click connect don't uh, need to uh, configure microsoft account no need yeah. only database user okay so this is a table that uh, we uh, have in the our sql yeah, we would like just uh, to get all the table that started with the sales LT. Okay. All the table with the sales LT. Okay. Then after that, uh, this one is the additional table. We don't need. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, click uh, load. Okay, loading the data from the SQL Server database. Yeah. Last time you only uh, access from the CSV yeah, or Excel file. But this time uh, we query from the SQL Server directly. Okay, here you go, yeah, then after that, uh, let's open the star schema. Ah, uh, here you go, yeah, so you have the customer, and then after that, the uh, customer address, and then the uh, sales LT address, okay, here you go, yeah, so this is the customer link to the this one uh, into uh, okay customer address address id yeah okay so the customer has uh, the customer id this one yeah then the customer id link to this uh, with uh, this column yeah 
and then this link to this where this will have a city okay so we would like to know how many customer per city okay in the visual uh, in the power bi you did that very very fast yeah okay so i create uh, for example a table yeah or matrix yeah? so create the matrix uh, here after that uh, i would like to see how many seat how many customer per city okay so here in the customer uh, sales lt address yeah where we have city then i put the uh, the row is uh, this one yeah the city and then the value is the number of the customer customer id here in the value yeah and then count okay so we have this uh, uh count of customer id uh now this one is uh, wrong. the city is uh, okay i think uh, customer id Wait, uh, uh, should not this one okay yeah the reason why we have this uh, 847 because the link the direction is the only one way yeah so we need to change uh, this to two way yeah? so when we click city then uh, it will be uh, refresh uh, on the, the other way yeah okay you see here okay that's a city Abingdon one yeah Albany one yeah total is 847 okay you can do this uh, from the uh, power bi okay now we uh, see the how to do that in the sql so we open uh, Azure Data Studio. So uh, select yeah. city. Okay. And then after that, the uh, count customer ID. Okay. Yeah. First is the uh, from. So the first table is uh, this one. Says customer, uh, the one that has a city is uh, for example, the, this one, sales LT address, yeah. From the sales LT dot address. Okay, yeah. And then after that, uh, join, this is the address ID. Yeah, you join with the this says LT customer address. Yeah, join sales LT customer address. Okay, on this one the sales LT address. Yeah, I put the A. S alias S A yeah. just lowercase a yeah. okay then after that on a dot the column name is the this yeah the address yeah address ID yeah a dot address ID equal to uh, this one join sales LT customer address yeah I put the C A yeah S C A yeah, CA is customer address. Yeah, equal to CA dot address ID. Okay. After that, you join again. Yeah, join. The second table is a customer. Yeah, sales LT customer. Okay, uh, as a C. Okay, after that the. Uh, As a C, yeah, on this uh, customer address, which is uh, we have uh, here customer ID, yeah, the C, yeah, customer ID, 
and then uh, we also have this customer ID on the CA yeah? on a CA dot customer ID yeah, equal to the C dot the customer ID ah okay this one yeah but uh, the customer ID is uh, ambiguous yeah because you have the customer ID from the uh, customer address and from the customer ID so I put a C yeah I would like to get the customer ID from the customer table okay like this yeah as the customer count okay yeah so you run this query okay group by yeah group by the city yeah if you would like to be more precise yeah the city is from the table name this address yeah so you put the a yeah a dot city okay like this this to avoid the other table has the duplicate column name so you know that this column is from this table that's a good practice run okay Abingdon, yeah, Albany, Alhambra, yeah. Okay. So this the similar like uh, what we have here. Okay. Okay, 1044, yeah. I quickly uh, continue with uh, the last one for today, yeah, having. Okay. What is having? Yeah, having is uh, like a filter, yeah, but you do it the uh, after you group by, for example, like this. So just know the customer has the customer address here. And then after that, the customer address has the address ID. Yeah, okay. The link is like that. Yeah. Okay. So what the difference between a where and having? Yeah. So for example, this is the table. Okay. And then after that, uh, you run the select. So it has the result, yeah. So this is the result. So the where clause is the ev evaluated earlier, yeah. Select after that the where. This is the first filter. Where filter, yeah. This is the result. Temporary result. Okay, guys, uh, if uh, the session is uh, abruptly uh, terminated, yeah, close, that means uh, that's the end of today's session. Yeah. I will upload the recording uh, in the YouTube. Okay, then here you have the having. So having is the second filter. After you have the time result, this is the final result. Yeah. So the having is uh, evaluated after the where. So this is the having filter. So the second filtering, you apply this uh, on uh, here, the time result. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, look at here. Select salesperson count. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, you will see uh, where the count customer ID more than uh, 100. This one is error. Yeah. This will generate an error because uh, whenever you uh, run this query, you still don't know yeah, how many customer per salesperson. Okay, so this uh, query returning the error. Why? Because uh, when you run this uh, query and then you put the where, you still don't know how many count of the customer ID per salesperson. Yeah. So if I put uh, like this, yeah, this, yeah, then after that uh, I will get uh, this. Okay. So there are a few salesperson that has a more than 100, which is this Jillian, yeah, Jose, yeah, Jose, and then uh, uh, Sue, yeah. The rest is uh, less than 100, yeah. But uh, if you put this, uh, this error, yeah. So if you want to filter only the salesperson that the customer more than 100, then you must use the having, yeah, not the where, okay. So this is the correct one. So this will only display the more than 100 yeah here so you see 
this is a three with a more than 100 but you cannot apply this because uh, when you run this you still don't know yeah how many customer per salesperson but uh, you only know after you run the query then uh, put the having having is the second filter you can also apply the having and the where together yeah as long as the where is the evaluated earlier yeah for example like this ah, like this yeah so you put the where of course uh, your where could not be using the aggregate function yeah for example here uh, where uh, ah, this one yeah so for example where from the salesperson yeah uh, sorry the for this one is from the customer yeah so uh, the customer customer table yeah customer okay let's see here what is the criteria okay for example hmm, actually a city yeah you can use a city okay uh maybe i put the join from the previous one i'm not sure whether we still have time yet 1048 okay here you go yeah so i use this mm, okay here yeah so this uh, i remove this one okay so you can put the uh, where city equal to something yeah equal to uh for example uh what is the name of the city for example this one yeah beaverton yeah beaverton yeah for example okay yeah so where city equal to beaverton yeah run yeah okay and then after that uh, having for example uh count customer id yeah more than one like this yeah run okay then uh, we can add uh, one more city for example the number one yeah beaverton uh, bellingham and then uh, abingdon bellingham and abingdon or uh, Albany Abingdon, Albany Abingdon, yeah. So I put uh, where city in, come on, last minute. <laughs> okay, like this, yeah. In, in meaning uh, uh, Albany, yeah. This is uh, like this, yeah. Comma, Abingdon. Okay, if you don't put uh, uh, having, yeah, like this, yeah, I, I don't put having, so uh, this one is uh, returning three column, uh, three row, yeah, Abingdon, Albany. But uh, if you put the uh, having that, uh, I want only to have the customer more than one, yeah, so this uh, be for them, yeah. Okay, this is uh, combining uh, where clause. And having clause okay yeah so uh, I save it yeah file save as okay so having uh, amend it yeah edit yeah demo okay so I will share with you this okay everyone uh, yeah, you can also put the order by, yeah. Order by the city name, for example, yeah. Okay, uh, one more, yeah. So here, if you put the order by, for example, city, okay. Okay, we run. Okay, now, 
if uh, you have the multiple like this, yeah, you can also order by the number, for example, uh, order by the count customer like this, yeah, or customer count, yeah, order by the customer count. For example, I uh, comment this, yeah, okay, order by the customer count. Okay, so this is a uh, scanning, yeah. For example, the scanning from the highest to the lowest. Okay, you can also order by the column index. This one is a column number one, column number two. So I can put uh, here order by one, yeah. What is the meaning of the order by one? Meaning the the first column, yeah, the city name, yeah. Order by two, meaning the second column here, which is a uh, count of the customer okay yeah so this is the same order by this one yeah because uh, we use the column index in a select okay yeah order by two meaning the second column order by one meaning the first column okay so the column index one is a city and then a two is the count of the customer ID Okay, everyone, I think uh, we are uh, in the last minute, yeah, 10.54. Thank you very much for joining me today. Yeah, then uh, the next class will be next uh, Saturday. Okay, so I will share everything with you, uh, including the last one. So file, save as. Yeah. Okay, everyone, happy Sunday and just uh, wait for the last minute uh, to close and uh, I will share the recording and the file okay thank you bye bye yeah any feedback you can uh, send me uh, or uh, there is a feedback uh, form that uh, organized uh, by the uh, volunteer yeah you can bring your friends, uh, anyone who want to learn SQL and Python next uh, month can join this session free. Yeah, Thank you. Bye-bye.